In the last episode, we set up a master layout. And what that allows us to do is abstract away that HTML head and footer section so that we don't have to include it on every single page. And this is a very common thing. Well, when you start, we get this concept of abstracting. We want to abstract other things. We want to, when it becomes too uh, uh, complex or bloated, you want to abstract it out. And uh, so far, what we've done is we've created a model, we've made a migration file, and that was for posts, and then the model of post. We have a couple routes, uh, the slash, which gets all posts, which you can see here, and we return the value to the page. And then we made a route uh, get posts based on the individual ID of the post, and we return then send the ID to the post to find that individual post and return uh, the page post, which we can see in our resources here under views, post, and we compact the value post. So we get it, get the ID, say this is five, this is five, five gets sent to here. We get through, get the post that is of the ID of five, and then pass it over to the post page. Well, there's a lot of stuff happening in our routes file. And in this episode, I wanna show you how to create controllers and abstract uh, this logic that we've been doing in the routes and putting it in a place that makes a lot more sense, uh, which will be a post controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started by creating a post controller. So to do that, we're going to open up terminal I'm using iTerm in this instance again, and uh, I'm going to say art, and that will, that's our alias that we've set up again, right? Otherwise you would be writing PHP artisan. And you can see here, uh, when I write that, I get all the sort of commands that I can run uh, with Laravel. And one of them here is make controller, and that's the one we wanna go and run. So we'll scroll down to the bottom and I'll say art make controller and then the name of the controller I'm going to say is post control. And I'm going to use a capital K syntax there so each word is capitalized. So art make colon controller and then the post controller. So that's going to create it. Now if I go into my app and click on HTTP and then controller I'm gonna see my post controller, but you'll see that it's empty. Well, if I wanna make this a little easier for myself, I can make this into a resource controller. And a resource controller is going to have all of the standard or normal methods that you would most likely use inside of a controller. Now that's not always, but uh, in our case, for sure we wanna do a resource controller because we're eventually gonna to get to the the ability to create a new post and edit a post and delete a post and show a post, right? So basic CRUD, right? So instead of running that, I'm gonna go back and delete this. Now that would be a regular controller and everything's good with that, except we wanna save ourselves a little bit more time. So we'll delete this controller. And then you'll see that I deleted it here, but I need to close the file as the file was open, it said, do you want to save? I say, don't save. And now it's completely gone. And now I'm going to say art post controller. And I'm going to say dash dash resource and press enter. And this time I click on the post controller. And because I use that uh, dash dash resource, it says make a resource controller. And you can see some basic methods have been added here. So here we have the index, the create, the store, the show, the edit, the update, and the destroy. So that's our base CRUD uh, and the processing pages to handle the CRUD. And it's already set up. Now I can make this a little bit easier as well by going back to my users here. I mean, back to my web page here, my web routes. And instead of setting up individual routes, I could set up one route that's going to do all of them. Now, at any time, if you want to see your routes, you can come over here to uh, terminal and say art route colon list. 
And that's going to list out all the routes you currently have in the system. So you can see I have three routes that are set up so far. And uh, I want to, looks like this is coming from the API one, which we might want to go and remove. I want to go and change this so that instead of having to write this each time, I can just write one. So to do that, it's the route resource. So I'll say route uh, colon colon resource. And then route resource takes, uh, I'm gonna just put everything at the slash URL because that's gonna be my home page where it gets all my posts. And then the other pages are gonna be slash the resource. So instead of saying post slash, it's just gonna say slash five, slash six, whatever like that. And then I'm gonna do a comma here, and then this is going to go to the post controller. So I'll go in here and say post controller. So uh, route colon resource goes to post controller, semicolon to close the statement. Now I'm gonna comment out all of these lines previously, and now I see just that one, and I'm gonna say art route colon list, and you see now that we have slash, index, store, create, show, update, destroy, and edit. And here you can see the methods that are being used for that and the actions here. So this is app HTTP controllers, post controller hits the edit method. And you'll see this at symbol, that means it's going to reference the method. So here's the controller or class, and this is the method inside of it. Here you can see the middleware where we put all this inside web, so it's all running with web. Uh, so pretty, pretty awesome because this one line is gonna do all of this and we don't have to write all of this uh, uh, syntax and it keeps our web routes file very clear. So now that I, that I have that set up, I wanna go in to where I was running index and the code that I created here, and I wanna transfer it over to the post controller. So I'm gonna grab these two lines here, and we'll jump into the index, dot index method here, and we will say post equals post all. So same thing as we did before. And then I'm gonna make sure to tab these in, make it nice. And now we'll say uh, return, so post equals post all, return view page posts. So now if we, I'm gonna delete that. Now it's gonna say, hey, you need to use, like we did up here, we need to use app post. So I'm gonna cut this, paste this in here. So now it says use app post. Post controller extends the default controller, then call the index method post equals post all, return view page compact post. So now if we were to go to our site in the browser, here it is, if we click refresh, we're gonna see exactly the same thing we had before. The cat jumped over the fence, the dog eat likes to eat, and the bird was in the cage. So we have our data there that we've set up previously. So you can see that just works with this resource. The next one I'm gonna do is this ID. And this ID is the same as show. So here's create, we're gonna, and here's store. We're gonna skip over those ones and go to show. And we can either copy and paste or write. Let's just copy and paste it because it's already ready to go. So same thing like we did on the other one. Tab it in nice. So now this is gonna hit the show method and that's the individual uh, resource, so the individual post in this case. And we're gonna say post equals post, fine, and where the ID is, so let's say that was five, then go and get post number five return view post compact post. So now if we go back to web, we can remove this code and we have our base uh, route. And you can see that's way more organized and clear to read. So now if I click refresh on here and click the cat jumped over the fence, uh, oops, it looks like we ran into an issue. It says slash post slash one. Well, it doesn't know what that is anymore. And we could say, well, what is the route? So let's go back to our routes here and it says here the show, which is our web route, uh, is just gonna be slash. So we can then say, well, oh, we need to go in and change the reference. So this is not post, this is going to become slash one. And that should get the individual record. So hmm, let's set that up now. 
So if we go into our records and say post controller, here's the show, find the ID. And if you wanted to test something like this, you could always say like five or something like that. And uh, it will be able to run that individual ID if you wanted to hard code the IDs into it. Well, actually come to think about this, this is maybe isn't the best because if we wanted to make an about page or something like that, it would need to run right here. So what I'm going to go and do is change this to posts. And then if I refresh this, click back on the home page, you're going to see the home page doesn't work anymore. But if I go slash posts, you'll see now I'm on this page here. And then if I click the cat jumped over the fence, you'll see the individual record now that I got because you can see those URLs. So that's a better system because I know if I look at the URL, I'm in a post and I'm in post one now, but I probably want the home page to uh, actually go somewhere, maybe back to the post page or to a home page. So what I can do for that is I could say route colon colon, and this time I could say get. And what this is going to get, I'm just going to show you, there's a bunch of different ways you could do this. I'm going to say slash, Now I could call a function here, but I'm going to call the post controller and I'm going to say at the index method. So that's going to run homepage and post basically are going to do exactly the same thing. So now if I refresh this, oh, we made a syntax error. Looks like I didn't save that. Now we'll refresh. Now you'll see that this plus slash posts go to the same place. And that's because they're gonna hit this index uh, from the route. So you can hit it with just the post or just the slash. Now, if I click one of these from the index page, it knows from the URLs that I set up previously that it's slash post slash one. And that's the basic of setting up a resource route and uh, passing our controller to it.